All right, Taylor, offensively, a great performance. You guys got off to a quick start in this one. You got a touchdown in that first quarter. Just how did you think as a whole this offense played today? You know, I thought we were just us, man. Just came out and stuck to the game plan. Um, they did some different things on defense, but also played some things that they usually do. And we were able to exploit that. And I thought the guys played well. I thought the coaches coached their butt off and we had a great game plan. You were able to spread the ball out to multiple receivers. Were guys getting open for you out there? Is that just how it was? Yeah, I just try to be a point guard, man. And yeah. we got a lot of weapons, uh, a lot of guys get the ball to, and different different types of playmakers. So it's a lot of guys that account for it, and I think I just got to get it to them. Thanks. You've really committed to the, the offense, Scott's plan, committed to James, even though it, 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 even though there wasn't some of them were very short runs. How much did that help you, especially in the second half when you got outside a little bit? Is that? I'm not sure you're asking. I, I, I'm sorry. Committing to the run uh -huh. as often as you do it, how much did that help you at quarterback? Yeah, I mean, run game's quarterback's best friend, right? I mean, you look at the top teams in the league, like Winnipeg and Toronto, they're able to run the ball. So, yeah, as long as you can stay balanced and then try to get another guy in the box helps passing game out for sure. Uh, speaking of Toronto, how much does this game set up next weekend? Because now you're firmly in the playoff race. You're now firmly not just to get in the playoffs, but to host a playoff game. And certainly, um, there are two different teams, but you go from one top team in one division to another top team in another division. Yeah. What have you seen coming out of that locker room that assures you that guys aren't just enjoying this moment, but they're actually continuing to build that moment? Um, to be frank with you, I'm not really thinking about Toronto, probably till tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy this one. Wins are hard, especially in pro football. and. Uh, that's a really good team we just beat, and uh, tomorrow I'll, fo I'll start focusing on Toronto. So, then to that point, um, I caught you out of the corner of my eye as I passed you on the field when they were in third down. I caught you that you were kneeling down, whatever. I yeah. mean, how much emotion did you feel you kept investing in this game? Hearing how loud it was that Zach, when the call was coming in, he had yeah. to the cup his helmet. What it, take us through what you were feeling as they were going through third down, and then there's the incompletion. Anytime you're playing against eight on in Winnipeg, it's going to be a tough game, right? I think he's a Hall of Famer, right? And you never know. Like third and fifteen, he can make something happen. And I was fortunate that, very grateful that our defense made a play, and I was just, you know, said a quick prayer and was just uh, hoping it'd turn out in our favor. It's amazing the moments that we talk to everybody in this room about this city. What, what are you noticing about the energy that it gives you? football city expects to win and that's a standard and that's what we need to adhere to and whenever you play well the crowd gets involved and this is a tough place to play at and uh, that's kind of all I'll say for that right now along that line uh, the record hadn't been good here how, how much do you think this had, and the manner in which this game was won you know, right to the very 60 minute football how much do you think that helps going forward as a home team? I mean, I think once this, you know, football is kind of a game of momentum, and once you start getting hot, we can try to catch a heater here. And But, you know, I don't, I don't even know, man. I'm just focused really on just kind of putting the best foot forward and playing good football down the stretch and leaving the rest up to whatever happens. Do you feel you're on a heater? It's three out of four now. You've scored not a team that has trouble scoring touchdowns. Has nine now in the last three games. You feel it right here? I don't. As a team, I I don't know. I'll, I'll let y'all write about that. I don't. I just try to have fun out there and win some football games, man. I love football and whatever you want to call it. We'll keep that within our own locker room. But um, I'm definitely proud of how our coaches get us ready to play. I'm proud of how our offense is preparing. I'm proud of how our defense is responding and how we're winning as a team, right? It's hard to win just on one side of the ball, and we're playing team football right now.